Good Sunday, good Sunday, everyone. Gather round, gather round. Guess what? Master Chef is back with another fantastic video today. I will be preparing some oxtails, some neck bones, and some beef short ribs. You don't want to miss this recipe because it's one that you can put in the books for years to come and be passed down to your children's children. Yeah, you heard it right. And I have a special, just for you, a special treat that would change the way that you cook oxtails. I'll be back to show you my ingredients Stay tuned. Got my head on my shoulders. I know that life isn't easy. So many decisions makes me uneasy. When I was a little younger. All right. I have my 10 ingredients here that I will be putting in this great pot of neck bones, oxtails, and beef short ribs. Yeah, you heard it right first from Master Chef. I couldn't find any more oxtails, so I decided to do a triple hit of meat. And I'm going to show you my ingredients and what you will see is some good ingredients and what you won't see, which is my special treat to you that will change the way that you cook oxtails or neck bones, or beef short ribs, is I'm not using any water. No water. Water is made to rinse, wash. And what water does, it washes off the season, off the meat. Every season that we're using today, you will find out that it will be cooked into your meat. So we're going to braise this meat. It will have a top on it. It will have a piece of foil on the top. And the only liquids that it's going to get besides a uh, third, fourth cup of beef broth would be the condensation that comes from the inside of the pot. Let me get started. We're using a tablespoon of meat tenderizing. And we're using a tablespoon of of Mediterranean magic. I will be using a tablespoon of Big Mo Cason beef rub. One packet of Aju gravy. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. Tablespoon of bang bang. Tablespoon of Danos. One tablespoon of Chipotle chili powder. And one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. I will be using one big yellow onion and a bell pepper and a half and this is going to be neck bones oxtail oxtails and beef short ribs like you never had before i'm going to put my ingredients in just put it in there i don't call it off put it in there Put it in there. Peppercorns. One tablespoon. Put it in there. Beef broth. Put it in there. Yeah, we're going to 
put foil paper on the top of this and we're going to put a top on this and we're going to cook this 350 in the oven for two and a half hours. We want the fat and the meat to render down and make its own juice. And one other treat that I got that I'm putting on here. Gonna sprinkle on the eyes you, and it's gonna make a real good roux gravy from the condensation that comes off the meat. We got 10 ingredients in this pot. And remember, Master Chef don't need no water. So you tell all them guys out there that's using water, that's washing all of the seasoning off of their meat. Master Chef does it Master Chef way. Now I'm gonna put some foil paper on this. We're gonna get it in an oven. And in two and a half hours, we're going to show you what this look like. I will be making and preparing a fried cabbage. I will also be making some yellow rice. So it will be oxtails, neck bones, beef short ribs, fried cabbage with Polish sausage and yellow rice. And if I act nice, Miss J said she would fry some hot water cornbread. I'll be back to show you my masterpiece. Stay tuned. And as always, if you like what we're cooking over here, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you and thank you. And as you can see, I am frying my smoked potato sausage for my fried cabbage. And I put a tablespoon of bacon grease in because this will be fried cabbage. And as soon as that gets acclimated, I'm gonna lay some onions in there. I didn't want the onions to create any moisture. So I'm waiting. I don't wanna cook these until they start turning brown, so I'm going to apply my onions now. This is a whole onion. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I like for my onions to be on the bottom. It makes the bed for my cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead on and sprinkle some of my chicken bouillon. I'm just gonna put some in there. Y'all see it with me. Master Chef don't need to measure his ingredients. Always put your black pepper in. Okay, this is ready for my cabbage. Got the green cabbage. And this is where I do mine. I get this little core out of it. Take that out. On both sides. Get that out. That's the way Master Chef does it. Catch it with one hand. If your hand is big enough, we're going to wash that off. Hey, if I didn't say so a while ago on my meat, I did wash my meat before I start preparing. Just wanted to say that. Pioneer woman. I guess if you cook good enough, they'll send you some. I'm gonna wash this off before we put it in. Right, you wanna lay your cabbage right in there. I 
I'm not cut it thick, but it'll render down. Let's get it all in there. Get that cabbage in there. We all know the cabbage makes its own water. So it's fried cabbage, so you don't need any water. And we're gonna let that do what it does. I'll be back to show you my fried cabbage and Polish sausage. It's a picture of my fried cabbage down from the plate. plate with neck bones, beef short ribs, oxtail, wait just one minute. This is no water added at all. There it is. Hello, this is Master Chef bringing the finished product to you of the beef short rib, oxtails, neck bones. All of this was cooked with no water. But I want to let you know, if you like what we have put together here, Miss J has done some homemade hot water cornbread, as you can see, which is the best in North Texas in the Metroplex. Subscribe. We appreciate it. And remember, in all your ways, acknowledge him, him who? The Lord, and he shall direct thou pass. And remember, there is a process even when we're looking to God. So what you're going through is not the conclusion of your journey. Be blessed. Until my next video. I do a slumber. I know I don't have the time. But you can hear me whine. I'm clearly not built for this. I feel like I made a stakes. Economy running me till I'm high. Aspiring like a natural.